So today's question is special because your birthday is coming up. So I want to know which park you would like to spend your birthday in if we were at Disney World. I'm thinking just Magic Kingdom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a good park to pick for your birthday. So you can end the night with like a good fireworks show. Exactly. Okay, what would be your first ride? It's a two-parter question. My first ride... Honestly, let's go kind of all the way to Tomorrowland and just ride the People Mover first. I love that it. That sounds silly. No, but... that sounds great. <laughs> I wish you could take drinks on the ride because what if we took like coffee on the ride and just hung out? I wonder if you you probably can. That would be the best. Yeah. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm Candice. I'm Lacey. And I'm Lariah. Grab a drink and come hang with us at the Hangar Bar. Hey everyone, welcome back to Hanging at the Hangar Bar. It is Lacey and Lariah today. And we are going to be talking about and reviewing the movie Wish. So... I am on IMD right now, and we're going to first, I forget when this came out, so I'm looking as to when this movie was released. So this movie was released on November 22nd, 2023, here in the U.S., so we're a little behind. I did want to see this movie in theaters, but because of the time like when movies come out around christmas i feel like it's hard to find the time to watch them Mm -hmm. okay so we recently watched this one it is directed by chris buck and chris buck also directed both frozen and frozen 2 and then he also directed let's see here surfs up so those are what he's known for kind of interesting that he directed frozen and frozen 2 mm-hmm. and then it was also directed by fawn vera sunthorn that's a last name it's a nice last name mm-hmm. and Vera is known for Raya and the Last Dragon, which I've seen. Have you seen that one? I have not. Zootopia. Yes, I've seen that one. And Moana. I know you've seen that one. Those are pretty great movies. I love all three of those movies a lot. You should really get on Raya and the Last Dragon. It's really good. Mm. Um, But Zootopia, I think, is... I don't want to say it's underrated, but it's a very solid movie i love that movie i like that movie a lot okay so according to imdb the synopsis for wish is a young girl named asha wishes on a star and gets a more direct answer than she bargained for when a troublemaking star comes down from the sky to join her okay and this part was like kind of confusing for me but they live in like a kingdom where like the king is was he the king or just like the leader magnifico yeah he can grant people's wishes because he found a star he no he taught himself magic okay and asha interviews to be like his apprentice Mm -hmm. because He has everyone's wishes. And that part was kind of confusing to me, too, because I don't think that everyone knows what their wish is. No, they, when they, um... See, you were paying way more this attention than me. Well, kinda. So, for their Sarah, what am I trying to say? Their, like, initiation, almost, when they do that, he takes their like deepest wish from them and then they forget about it okay okay that makes more sense so 
she goes to be an apprentice and I think then she gets a wish granted, right? From him? No. <laughs> okay, then you say it. <laughs> Sorry. She she's going to get her grandfather's. She's like when she's interviewing to be his apprentice, she's asking him to grant her grandfather's wish because he's like turning a hundred and he says basically says no but it's like the day of a ceremony because someone is turning i think it's when you turn 18 Mm. so and then when someone's ceremony happens when they give him a wish he grants someone's wish okay okay yeah that part was confusing for me i need to watch it again because sometimes i need to watch a movie twice to like fully understand what's going on because i get distracted with other things There were definitely some loose ends that... Some plot holes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's obviously about wishes and all of that. And then he turns... Doesn't turn evil, but we find out that he's not, like, the best dude. And I... I don't know about you, but I was very... He was very sus. Like, when she was interviewing to be the apprentice, I was kind of like, hmm... I don't know if we should trust this man or not. Oh, for sure. Especially to be in charge of everybody's wishes. Yeah. Like, that's a lot of power. And we all know what happens when you have a lot of power in Disney movies. So. Yes. Oh, really quick. By the way, I know it's a little too late, but this will contain spoilers. So. Oh, yes. Just. If you haven't listened to it, or if you haven't watched it, go watch it and then listen to the review. Yes. Okay, so let's talk about the music. What did you think of the music? I didn't really like it. Yeah. It was not my favorite at all. I liked her, like, you know how, like, every Disney main character has their, like, soulful... Their solo. solo. Yeah. Yeah. I liked that one. I thought that one was fine. But, like, in terms of, like... The villain song and, like, the other poppy songs in there to fill the time. I did not like them at all. Really? Mm -mm. I didn't think any of them really stood out that much to me. But I would like to listen to the music again to see if any of them stick Mm. or, like, you know, give them another shot. But I didn't think it was, like, really bad, but... Again, nothing really stood out to me that really wowed me to where I wanted to go look up the song and listen to it again. Mm -hmm. So this movie has a lot of Easter eggs of other Disney movies, mainly, whoa, (laughs) (laughs) mainly the classic. Disney movies not any newer ones really Mm -hmm. even though I did get kind of like tangled vibes from this movie a little bit a little bit I want to see if maybe the animation the animators behind this one also worked on tangled I don't know but Anyway, what are some Easter eggs that you noticed? Because while we were watching, we obviously talked about Easter eggs, but it's been just a little bit since we watched it. So let's tally them up again. You notice something, a lot of Snow White ones. Mm -hmm. So like her friends resembled the Seven Dwarves characters. Mm -hmm. And then I thought it was cool with the apple. Yes. That kind of morphed cinderella and snow white together yes so that was pretty cool love that one definitely at the end when she gets like her powers or something and she is literally wearing the fairy godmother's robe yeah and stuff and and the um magic wand Mm -hmm. yeah that was cool too that one, I think there is actually a Easter egg for Rapunzel in there. There's a white horse that's supposed to resemble Maximus in that. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to also Google it because I'm sure we've missed some. Oh, there was a Bambi one too. where Yeah, Bambi and John. Yeah, John mm-hmm. from Robin Hood. 
Yes. Thanks for not eating me, John. (laughs) And they literally said Bambi. He called him Bambi. So, Mm -hmm. but according to the website Good Housekeeping, there are 55 um, Easter eggs in Wish. And we're not going to go through all of them, but I just want to see. Okay, so we got the friends as the seven dwarves Mm -hmm. oh wow i did not even catch that one yes because that was the one who was chosen to get her wish granted in her little wish bubble she has aurora's sleeping beauty's dress okay the blue one Uh uh-huh the blue one that's cool oh yeah um peter pan makes an appearance at the end of it a woman dreams of flying and she's wearing a dress that looks like wendy's from peter pan was peter pan in it did you see peter i can't remember if i saw him or not but someone said she said i've always wanted to fly and then someone said um let me introduce you to my friend peter oh Mm -hmm. okay Okay, and then there's a picture of somebody in a bubble, and there is the poison apple just sitting on, like, I don't know. His spell table. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Okay, so I think it's, like, supposed to be where he is the magic mirror Mm -hmm. in Snow White. Yeah. Because he was... Wasn't he, like, so vain? Yeah. And then he got sucked into the mirror at the end? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. One thing that I thought was really neat, um, in terms of, like, it's not really an Easter egg to a movie, but an Easter egg towards, like, the Disney company celebrating 100 years. Mm Mm-hmm. First of all, her grandpa was celebrating his 100th birthday. Mm Mm-hmm. And then at the very end of the movie, the castle... It looks like the opening credit for Disney. Oh, it does. Okay, and you are right. When Star first lands, it flies past a horse that looks like Maximus from Tangled. Some of these are kind of reaching. Like... Oh, yeah. Someone, one of the friends does a Tarzan call when they're like, Operation Take Down Magnifico or whatever. That one was obvious. Okay, though, yeah, and these are confirmed by filmmakers, these next ones. There are some cups in the sink. Can one of them be chipped? So, Chip is in the movie. Mm Mm-hmm. I did not catch that. No. Star's face shape is a heart, which is also inspired by the face of Mickey Mouse. That's pretty cool. Cute. Oh, the... Um, Star doesn't talk and uses magic dust just like Tinkerbell. So, yeah, it was really cool to see... Oh, the magical feather pen is drawing Mickey ears in a scene. I don't remember which scene that was, but that would be something to watch again and try to look out for. Oh, yeah, I saw a ton of Mickeys, hidden Mickeys in the movie. I wonder if it says how many hidden Mickeys there are in the movie. We'll have to, let me look that up really quick. There was one scene, again, at the very end when you're seeing, and it looks like it's, the castle is transforming into the logo that Disney uses before their movies. They're shooting fireworks off Mm. over the castle, and at the end, one does a Mickey shape. Okay, I think that was the only hidden Mickey that is... So you're lying. Lying? If you saw other hidden Mickeys. Or you were doing drugs while you were watching. Just kidding. Huh? Just kidding, listeners. crazy. But, okay. Those are the coolest ones we could find on this website. So, yeah, it was... I think it was a good movie. I'm not upset that we didn't see it in theaters. However, I do think that maybe if we did, we would have liked it just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Because I I liked it, but I felt like it was kind of missing something. Yeah, I get that. I I think they kind of overdid 
the whole Easter egg thing, which was really fun Mm -hmm. to look out for. But I don't know. I I feel like with that, they kind of missed a lot of the storyline. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's a good message, though, about Mm -hmm. wishes and all of that and kind of be careful what you wish for and everything like that. But yeah, I liked it. I gave it like a six out of ten. Six out of ten. Mm -hmm. I usually rate things out of five stars. Oh, gosh. So um, if it's out of ten, I'd probably give it maybe like five ish because mm-hmm. I didn't hate it and I would watch it again and I feel like when I watch it again I'll probably like it just a little bit more but yeah it was it was a cute cute Disney movie mm-hmm. and all of the little easter eggs were fun I just think that the music wasn't as good as I'm used to I completely agree with that and to add to one of the things that gave it a lower star rating for me is the animation. Mm. I hated it. Oh, you did? Yeah, it reminded me of, like, a cartoon that Mm. Disney produces, not, like... Oh, yeah, I can see... Yeah, yeah. Definitely see what you mean, like, uh, Sophia the First and stuff. (laughs) I don't know why that popped in my head, but... yeah. Yeah. Just that, Uh, like, weird... Yeah, I don't even know how to describe it, but it is a lot like that. Yeah. All right, well, that is our review and discussion of the movie Wish. Um, We really like to know what you guys think of that movie and if we missed any good easter eggs that maybe you guys have caught um let us know follow us on our socials review our podcast on all of our platforms that really helps us out interact with us and also if you ever have any show ideas please send us a message on instagram or on facebook because we'd really like to know what you guys want to hear So, um, with that, we hope you have a really good rest of your day or night and we will, you'll hear from us in the next episode.